Hi everybody and welcome to the SWA Sonar X2 Masterclass. We'll be looking at how to use advanced mixing techniques and apply them to a fully pre-recorded song. We'll be using techniques such as parallel compression, side chaining, stereo mixing, equalizing and others to see how they each affect the sound and flavor of the song as we progress. Although I don't personally believe there to be a definitive right way to mix a song, there are however certain methods, tips and tricks that you can learn to help you evolve and enhance your future projects. The major area that I always suggest people should brush up on are their frequencies. Learning your frequency span and knowing roughly where instruments sit within this spectrum is going to vastly improve your mixing skills as this really is the key into EQing and being able to make a particular instrument sit comfortably in the song. This, however, is one of the hardest tricks that beginners and people wanting to learn more advanced techniques face. And the key really is knowing these frequencies, then adjusting an EQ to complement the natural sound of any particular instrument. This can appear rather daunting at first, but we will spend some time explaining what I call frequency awareness, and is something that I have talked about in detail before. The subject really is the doorway into professional mixing and will drastically improve your future projects. The layout of this tutorial will be broken down into sections, for example, drums, synth, vocals, and keys, etc. We will go through each section of the song, breaking it down structurally, and then trying to enhance it with certain mixing techniques. We will from time to time jump back and forth from section to section in an attempt to set levels and such, but our focus will be on one group at a time. This way you can always find a certain area that interests you easier. The song that we're looking at today is in the form of a dubstep dance style, so what we have here are the kind of instruments that you would expect from this genre. Uh, a layered drum section, some synth, and vocals. We also have a string section as well. It is always a good idea to have a rough outline of a sound that you are aiming for. A good way to achieve this is to research songs of similar genres to your project to get an idea of how you want your end result to be. You can even mix and match sounds from different songs. For instance, if you like the sound of a particular drum section and a guitar sound from a different song. Study the song, write down what you can hear taking place and try and match the sound in your own project. Like I said, I don't believe there to be a right or wrong way to mix. What works for you might not work for someone else. But having a clear idea of how you want your finished results to sound like will also prevent you from adding too much in the hope of finding a good sound. Sometimes less is more. This is something that is certainly true when it comes to something like compression, uh, which we'll be talking about later, unless however you are dealing with a song that requires an over-the-top approach. This method will also let you know when to stop. It is a very common mistake to go too far and add too much and spoil the sound that you had in the first place. Like all forms of art, knowing when to say, I finished, really can be the hardest part. Like an artist can have one too many brush strokes, we too can add one too many effects and spoil what we had in the first place. What we need to establish is where to begin mixing. Some always start with the drums and build up from there, but personally, I think you should listen to uh, each song separately before touching it and decide afterwards what needs the most attention. Each song is different and should be approached as such. Mixing also means being able to adapt to all kinds of genres and point out what section of the song is the driving force. As it happens, the style of music that we're working on today does need a driving drum sound to carry the rest of the song, as is typical with dance and dubstep. So this is where we will focus our attention. First though, let's listen to the song as is, so we can get a rough feel for the song. You will notice that the levels are in need of some work, so bear this in mind when you listen to it, and as a good test, it is a good idea at this point to write down what you think needs work, what levels need adjusting, what sound you think would go well and where. So as you listen to it, you need to try and isolate each section in your head and hear how they sit in the mix at the moment. Another good trick is to try and write down all the sections that you can hear and see if you can make out all the parts. Not only will this train your ears to pinpoint certain areas of the song, but you'll also get an idea of how best to level the song by how well you can hear each instrument.
We will start by making some bus tracks for our instruments. They don't need to be anything too complicated, but by adding these bus tracks will allow us to mix in groups and get an overall sound throughout. We will add three bus tracks, one for each instrumental group. So we will go to our console view, go over to our bus pane and right click to insert our bus. We will repeat this three times. We will then name our bus tracks Rhythm, Synth, and Vocals. Now we need to attach our tracks to the associated buses. We can do this in groups. To do this, highlight multiple tracks, hold down Control, and select the appropriate bus. We will do this for all tracks.